Which class is the best in Zombie Massacre? Let's find out. In the previous video we went over the different zombies that you encounter, as well as the weapons that you can use to take them out. While survivors can use any weapon that they find on the battlefield, they will always have access to unique abilities, each with their own effects and power levels. But let's take a closer look at each of these classes, and the upgrades for them. There are six different classes of survivors for you to choose from. You can freely switch between them after each round, but teams cannot have more than two of each class of survivor. Each survivor has two separate abilities, a special item and a combo power. The special item is a cooldown based ability, which survivors can place down on the field. Each item lasts for a few seconds and recharges after use. The combo power is an ability that is unlocked by killing five zombies in a short amount of time. This combo breaks if you are not able to kill a zombie within five seconds. Both of the abilities reset upon death, and you'll need to wait for them to be available again when you are revived. Most of the abilities can be upgraded a total of three times, and each upgrade will carry over to the other survivors if you decide to switch between them. So let's take a closer look at each of the character's abilities. Let's start off by taking a look at the Doctor. The Doctor has a special item of a healing kit and a combo power for a transplant. The healing kit can be set on the ground and will heal anyone within the radius. The transplant works only for the Doctor and will siphon health from the nearby zombies and heal you. The healing kit is the only special item that will not have an increase in range every time you upgrade it. Instead, it is the only item that actually increases its effectiveness and will actually heal you more. Its base healing rate is 10, but it can be upgraded to 15, 25, and then 40. Likewise, the combo power transplant will siphon 5 damage from nearby zombies and heal you that 5 points. Keep in mind that none of the combo powers or special items will ever increase their damage based on their upgrades. Instead, they will increase their damage based on the damage multiplier upgrades that you can buy in the damage multiplier section. This means at their base level you can deal 100% of damage, which is what we will be calculating off of, but this can be increased to 130% of its normal effects. The combo power transplant will usually only siphon from one zombie at a time. Even though the line makes it look like that it could be draining from multiple zombies, the effects really only seem to come from one zombie at any given moment. The duration starts at 20 seconds and can be increased to 26. The electrician's special item is a homemade turret. This turret will last 20 seconds and will shoot zombies dealing about 4-5 to five damage each. While its range increases, it's only able to target one zombie at any given time. The combo power of the Tesla Zap will last 10 seconds and can be upgraded to 13. This can zap 2-3 to three zombies at a time, dealing a total of 30 damage every time it is zapped. The journalist's special item is the Radio Tower. This tower can last for 20 seconds and will damage the zombies in a pulsating effect every single time the radio wave is shot out. These pulsations deal 100 damage to all the zombies around it, and when upgraded to its maximum level it can provide a very safe barrier for you to take cover in. There does not seem to be a limit to the number of zombies that can get affected, so as long as you can keep kiting them into the tower's range, they will be able to get killed pretty fast. The journalist's combo power is a camera flash. This is a unique power that is not able to be upgraded. Even if you have extra upgrades put into it from other classes, the duration of this will always be instant. The camera flash will deal 150 damage to all the zombies that are within range. There does not seem to be a limit to the number of zombies that can be affected, and sometimes I even find myself getting a second camera flash after killing a whole bunch of groups. I tested this a few times and have no idea how I was able to get the combo power to activate over and over again, but it did seem to have something to do with killing multiple zombies all at one time. The mercenary's special item is the Alps system. This system will target a single zombie once it runs through, and it will deal 100 damage to them with a small splash zone meaning that multiple zombies can get hit within a few seconds. Even though it can only target a single zombie, you can have multiple zombies getting hit from it. This duration, much like the other special items, will also last 20 seconds. The mercenary's combo power, the Drone Buddy, is a friendly drone that will target nearby zombies. It initially will last 8 seconds, but it can be upgraded to 10.4 seconds. The drone itself seems to deal random damages between 6 and 10 damage per shot, with a very high fire rate. The Survivor has a special item of the Blade Trap. This is a sweeping blade that deals 100 damage every single time it comes around. While it's only able to damage the zombies that are directly in front of the blade, it moves relatively fast, meaning that you could deal with most hordes of zombies relatively quickly. The Survivor's combo power is the Ramming Shield. 
This is a shield that prevents all incoming damage from affecting you, and it could also be used to turn the tides and hit the zombies back. Every time you make contact with the zombie, it will deal 100 damage to them. The duration of this shield is 3 seconds long, and it can be upgraded to 3.9 seconds. And finally we have the Scientist, who has a special item of the Black Hole. The Black Hole lasts 20 seconds, and while it initially appears that they damage the zombies by 100 damage, most of the zombies don't seem to be able to escape it, meaning that it is almost essentially able to take out any single zombie that crosses its path. The Scientist's combo power are the Explosive Flasks. These flasks last for a total of 5 seconds, and can be upgraded to a total of 6.5 seconds. Every single time you throw one of these flasks, it deals 100 damage to a zombie. It also has some splash damage, meaning that you could target multiple groups of zombies at the same time. These flasks also come with the ability to heal, which is something that was only unique to the doctors before this. By hitting yourself or your allies with the explosive flasks, you're able to heal yourself 10 health. This also gives you 10 points, which can be used to purchase more upgrades in the future. So remember, every single special item has a duration of 20 seconds, and every single combo power, with the exception of the camera flash from the journalist, can be upgraded to have a much longer duration of time. And now for my final rating that I'm going to give each of the different classes here. This is my personal opinion on each of them, so it may differ from what you might have, but personally what I would rate these classes starting at the least favorite of mine would have to be the Electrician. The homemade turret may be fast, but it deals relatively small amounts of damage, and it can only target one zombie at a time. And the Tesla Zap has the ability to hit three zombies. It is okay in the beginning rounds, but towards the end rounds it's not quite as good for you. So overall, you're not really getting too much going for it. Even if you upgrade the homemade turret, there's still a lot of range that it may have, but it's not really able to shoot anything else. It's still going to be dealing some low damage, and it's only able to hit one thing. Next up, I have the Mercenary. While I am a fan of the Drone Buddy, the ALPS system is not quite up to stuff. It can hit multiple targets at a single time, but it's not able to dispatch them as efficiently as some of the other special items. Not to mention it can very easily get overrun, so if you bring a whole bunch of zombies going through, there's still going to be a whole bunch that are able to get through and be able to live through it. The Drone Buddy does do a pretty good job at increasing your power, but it doesn't really make up for the fact that the ALPS isn't really all that damaging. Rounding out fourth place, I'll put the Survivor with the Blade Trap. It's a pretty good special item, and the Ramming Shield is good for saving you in a bad situation. The Ramming Shield can kind of be a little bit interesting to use sometimes, but overall it's a pretty good class. The other ones, I think, just kind of outshine it. For top three, I would place Journalist, mainly because the overpowered ability for the camera flash. You don't need an upgrade for it, so you don't actually need to put any money in order to get that to be at its full power. And also I was able to find all the different sort of effects, or maybe even if it's a bug. I'm able to use that camera two or three times sometimes if I kill enough zombies. So it's a very powerful combo, and you can use it a whole bunch of times. The special item of the radio tower is also okay. It can damage just about everything that comes into its range, so it's not really limited to just killing one or two zombies in a big horde. It could deal quite a lot of damage itself. So yeah, definitely a top three for me. My second favorite class for me is the Scientist. This is one that I actually did not expect to like as much, and it jumped up many ranks, mainly because the Explosive Flax are capable of healing. This is actually a very overpowered ability. Not only do you have the combo power which can hurt the enemies, but you have something that can reliably heal you, and the black hole itself might be the most overpowered special item that is on the field. Even though its range is pretty low, once you get it upgraded a few times, basically nothing is able to get through that thing, and even the highest of health enemies can just get sucked up and killed immediately. The one thing that you do need to worry about is the fact that it doesn't seem to let those enemies drop any sort of weapons, so you're not really going to have anything for weapons, but the fact that you have pretty good explosive damage with the flasks, that can also heal you, that really makes it something that is one of the most well-rounded builds that you could have in the entire game. And my number one class is the Doctor. This is one that I have basically always used, especially in solo games. You can't really go wrong with not being able to die. The combo power of the transplant basically keeps you alive when there are more zombies around you. You're almost harder to kill when there are more zombies. If they're really high damaging, then they can break through, but as long as you're able to keep your distance and just sort of keep using the transplant combo power, 
there's nothing that's really going to be able to stop you. I don't find myself using the special healing kit item unless it's a super big emergency, but even having that too really can just double down all sorts of healing on your side makes it almost impossible for you to die. And you not being able to die means you can kill more and you can just start working on other upgrades and getting other weapons and things. It really is just my most overpowered class. Also, the healing kit can help out your allies. That's always good too, because you want to help them out to the best that you can. But that's just my opinion on it. What is your favorite class? If you want to let me know in the comments below, I'm interested to hear you out. So I hope you enjoyed this little deep dive into the different classes for the Zombie Massacre classes. Enjoy killing those zombies, and I will see you all next time.